Hi, this is Margo. I'm back. They just crashed my computer. So we were starting to look at methane. And um, if I'm unable to put these two parts together, if they keep crashing my computer, I'll just upload them separately. And the first part that I just recorded will be an update on Arctic sea ice, because that's basically what we covered. And now we're starting to look at the greenhouse gases for this week. <clears throat> We're on the CAMS website, Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Services. And the only data they have is from Tuesday, July the 10th. They are, they lag on their methane data. Um, the other, the other things that we're going to be looking at, it's all current as far as I can tell. Up, up through today, it even shows the um, re em erupting um, with the sulfuric acid out of Hawaii, uh, sulf sulf sulfur dioxide out of Hawaii and out of the Galapagos Islands at the same time too. So what we're looking at here Here's, uh, we're looking at the, from the North Pole, we're looking down on the globe. This is England, here's Spain, here's Europe, here's Norway, Sweden, and Finland, and then Russia, and Siberia, and then um, this is Northern India, and China, and the Asian countries, and this area right here, is um, on the east side of Saudi Arabia. So I can never remember that. Hang on, let me find that. Oh, that's the Persian Gulf. I can think of it when I when I don't need to. You know, I'm over sixty. I'm getting brain farts. Um, that's the Persian Gulf area is and it's like totally black and they have a lot of oil production and drilling and things like that there and plus it's super hot so this is so the data starts here here the movie is starting over and we're seeing that we've got very high methane levels when it's popping up, it's really going high wherever it's coming up. And Port Norway and that whole area is totally covered up. Here's your uh, chart down here to interpret. And this is parts per billion. And um, this, like this green is 1860 parts per billion. And then um, this yellow green is 1920, and then this orangey is 1980, and then the red is 2000 parts per billion. This brick red is 2040 parts per billion, and then it, then this says 75,600 parts per billion. So there you have it, and I'm going to show you something we're going to go closer in we'll do a world view in a minute too but I really would like to show now we're on surface surface level oh I want to show you something else real quick when you go to total column total column is the methane all the way through the atmosphere not just at the ground and it's this total column level is totally increasing and it's got the same chart and you can see that total column all the way up through the atmosphere methane is totally increasing into the, the two th over 2000 range and 2040 all the way up and so that means that it's going to be holding in more heat in the atmosphere over these areas and we also saw ozone thinning over there and a lot of UV coming in so um, we can still see let's go back to surface level now because I like I like that view 
you, we can still see like the orangey, I mean the yellowy color, um, le yellow and orange left over from when we had that methane spike at the end of May. And it's then the rest of <coughs> the northern hemisphere is in these greens. But that's still very, very high, very high. So um, let's go in. Let's get a closer look at the Arctic. But since we just did a whole update on Arctic, Arctic sea ice and run this movie, we'll go back to the beginning of the time period. So the data is for the 10th, which was Tuesday. And then it's going to do a forecast through the 14th, which was yesterday. So hopefully they'll have m new data up tomorrow. But I'm going to have a really busy week this week. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any kind of videos or updates or anything. So this is why I'm trying to get this out today. And um, I'm really tired. And I tell you, doing those live shows, it's it takes it out of me i'm so i'm still worn out from it it just takes it out of me um but i like doing them and i'm glad that it got a good response and we were able to cover areas that people don't normally get to cover and and um i encourage people who'd like to join us next time we'll probably have another show in a couple of weeks i'll do an announcement but um Okay, here we go. <clears throat> now what we're looking at, what I want to focus on besides this whole Norway area is the uh, look at the methane coming up off the coast here. This is Novaya Zemlya and we've got meth red methane coming up out of the sea ice. We've got red methane um, over this is this is the East Siberia ice shelf, and then it's it's in the this um, yellow zone, yellow and gold zone from 1920 to 1940 um, up here in the Arctic, and it, it's very disturbing. And over here is where they've had all those wildfires in Siberia. I guess they're still burning. You know, once you hear about something in the news for a couple of days, it just, they stop covering it. And um, we've got lots of methane over here in the northern United States and parts of Canada. And um, then over here in China and Asia. So... I wanted to show you that real quick. Now, let's go to global methane on our plots view. And it defaults to total column. And this is what I was showing you a, uh, a minute ago. How, man, these levels are really getting up, way up high in the atmosphere. When I started doing these these climate casts, I, my first one was on April 28th of this year, and it, it was not red through total column. It was not red. I, I remember it was not. So, anyway, it is what it is. So now we're going to change our reading to surface level. And we're going to load this movie. And I'm going to move the map around so that you can see your part of the world. We'll just start with the front on view. And this movie runs a little bit slower than the other one. And I like it because the view is flat and spread out. Look how high it is over here. And here's the Hudson Bay. It gets full of methane. And you saw on those sea ice photos that I showed you, the pictures from Climate Reanalyzer, that the sea ice is almost totally gone in the Hudson Bay now. So, and anywhere you have... Uh, in, 
heavy industrialized civilization and it's humid and and you've got people and and it's hot and it's humid and and uh, you've got forests and stuff like that you're going to have methane high levels of methane so here it is coming up out of the arctic ocean here here's siberia so now i'm going to move the map around and the movie's going to start over so you can see let's see australia australia you look pretty good you've got some methane coming up on the east edges Methane is also a result of fracking and part of the oil industry and natural gas industry releases lots of that and Marsha shared that <coughs> that link that I kind of kind of lost it over on that the PBS thing where they were showing uh what what JPL and NASA and and that California uh, the Californians were gonna start plugging the methane leaks they were they were flying over <coughs> uh, where they were drilling and fracking and they were showing all these methane plumes coming coming out and and they were like, oh, well, we, we've never measured this before. And I'm like, well, cams can measure it. And that was in Southern California, right down here. And you can see that's covered up with methane. You can see that. Let's zoom in. And you can absolutely see that. This whole area. And, of course, with wildfires and things, you've got extra methane. But um, wildfires... Uh, give off a lot of sulfur dioxide and um, ozone, ground surface ozone. So now we've got it, you can see it uh, off the coast of Spain and now England doesn't look as bad as it did couple of weeks ago it was just covered up let's see if this is going to reload for us <clears throat> now that I'm close up here we go it doesn't want to do anything there we go here we go It's spooling, buffering. Ooh, look at this right here. Look here. It's spooling again. But you get the idea. <clears throat> okay, here's Novaya Zemlya. Here it is coming up out of the Arctic Sea there. Here's some over here on this edge. There's Russia. This is... Okay, here's Siberia where those wildfires are going. Here's that East Siberia ice shelf. That's exactly where those wildfires are going off. So, we got lots of methane all over the place. Look at that. Alright, let's stop this movie. It's kind of slow. Now, 
now we're going to go to sulfur dioxide and the data for sulfur dioxide is in through today and the way we can tell that is we can go to our charts view and load sulfur dioxide and base time it, the data goes back to the 11th through today the 15th because they're on UTC time and they already have the data in from today it's not going to cooperate let's try that again well Now my browser doesn't want to work. <clears throat> Hang on. I'm going to pause while I try and fix this.